Hello, beautiful crochet lovers. I'm Susanna. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to show you very pretty ribbons. You can use as a belt or back straps or whatever you want. So, let's get started. So, first of all, I'm going to use size 20 lace thread and crochet hook size is size 6 1.0 but you can use any yarn size and any hook size as you like okay so first please make a slip knot after making a slip knot please make multiples of 12 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve please repeat chain twelve as the your uh, desirable length one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve like that so please repeat as many rounds as you want okay so now I did two times so the this is approximately one inches or 2.5 so if you need 30 inches please make 30 times like that so let's see you later okay i did chain 48 I'm going to make a bookmark for this sample. So after making 48, please make chain one for additional. So please remember this pattern is multiples of 12 stitches and plus one, okay? So after making plus one, let's make row one. online let's do it row one together so first please make chain one this doesn't count as a stitch please skip the first stitch and into the second stitch please make a single crochet so skip first one and into the second one please make single crochet After making a single crochet, please make chain one and skip the next stitch. So this is the single crochet stitch. So skip the next one and into the next stitch. And make a single crochet. So single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Then please make chain three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then please skip three stitches and into the first chain make a single crochet. So this is the single crochet. Skip. Oh, excuse me one two three and into the next stitch next chain make a single crochet
repeat this to the end. Gently, one, two, three. Skip three stitches. One, two, three. And into the next stitch, make a single crochet. One, two, three. Skip three. One, two, three. And the first stitch. One, two, three. One, two, three. The next stitch and single crochet. So please repeat like this to the end. And I'm going to show you at the end of this row. Okay, see you later. Like I did chain three and single crochet, chain three and single crochet, and this is the last three single three chains and single crochet. Two, three, and skip one, two, three into the last stitch. Make a single crochet. Then you will see chain one, chain two. So, please make chain one and skip chain one and into the last stitch make a single crochet. So, skip this stitch, in the next stitch make a single crochet. Alright, this is the row one and move to row two. Alright, let's move on to row 2. So, row 2, start with chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Count as a double crochet. Then turn it work. After making a double crochet, please make a double crochet into the chain one space that we made in the last row so yarn over and into the chain one space that you can see here this space so please make double crochet so in this double crochet i'm going to use extended a double crochet Pull through only one loop and yarn over, pull through next two loops and pull through next two loops. Okay, then make chain two, one, two. Then please make another double crochet into the same space. So into the same chain one space, insert it, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through following two loops. Yarn over, pull through following two loops again. Then, please make chain one. After making chain one, please find a single crochet after chain three space so skip this chain three space and into the next chain one space chain a uh, single crochet so here the 
this is a single crochet this one so insert and make a single crochet okay so this is the first half okay the next we are going to make a pattern so please look carefully we are going to use these three chain three spaces all right okay first please make chain one and skip next chain three space and into the next chain three space so skip the first chain three space and into the center chain three space and please make a double crochet so pull through only one loop yarn over pull through following two loops and then remaining two loops after making double crochet please make chain two one and two okay repeat the same thing please make a double crochet into the same space yarn over into the same space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first loop yarn over pull through the next two loops and yarn over pull through the next two loops again then please make chain two one two repeat it again yarn over insert into the same space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first loop yarn over pull through next two loops and yarn over pull through the remaining two loops chain two And we are going to make four double crochet into the same space so we are going to make the last double crochet all right after making four double crochet one two three four and three chain two spaces one two three please make chain one chain one and skip next chain three space and into the next single crochet this one please make a single crochet into this this single crochet so this is the pattern that we are going to make okay let's do it together one more time chain one and skip next chain three space and into the next space please make double crochet make chain two repeat one chain two now we did two so we need four three chain two into the same space four double crochet after making four double crochet please make a chain one and skip next chain three space and 
into the single crochet of the next chain slit space so this one and make a single crochet so please repeat this to the end and see you at the end of this row okay we did came come to the last point so this is the next chain three space so we have to skip and there is a chain one space that we made like this here you can see that very tiny space here so please make two double crochet as uh, as usual so please start with chain one after making a chain one into the last tiny space make double crochet make chain two and into the same tiny space make another double crochet After making the second double crochet, please make a double crochet into the last single crochet. So you can see here. It's a very, very tiny stitch, so before you get used to please pluck uh, practice with the chunk yarn to follow the stitch clearly okay this is a low two and now shape is like a wavy okay move to the third row Alright, let's move to the third row. So we finish with double crochet and next we are going to start with the single crochet. Please make chain one and after making chain one turn in work and into the last double crochet. So there is the stitch. Please make a single crochet. So start with a single crochet. After single crochet, please make chain three. One, two, three, After making chain three, we are going to a double crochet cluster. Here is the last double crochet. We are going to make three double crochet together so into the next double crochet is a stitch hole under the free chain pull up a loop pull through first loop and pull through next two loops stop here now two loops on the foot Please repeat two more times. Yarn over into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through first loop. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. Three loops on the foot. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop yarn over pull through the next two loops four loops on the foot then 
please make yarn over and pull through all. This is three double crochet together. After making three double crochet together, move to the next double crochet. So this one. Please make the same thing. Yarn over into the double crochet. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch. Pull through first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loop, first first loop, and yarn over, pull through next two loops. Four loops on the hook. Then yarn over, pull through all. So we did two right now, and we are going to make two more. So there are one, two, three, four double crochet here, and we are going to use the first two double crochet, this one and this one. Okay, do it together. Yarn over. So please find the first double crochet, that is the single crochet, chain one and this one. And this is the stitch. So please make three double crochet together. One into the same stitch. Two. And three. Four loops on the hook and yarn over pull through all. So we did one, two, three now. So please make one more. So next double crochet. This one. One. Two, three. All right. So four loops on the hook and yarn over pull through. Oh, excuse me. So this is one, two, three, four loops. Then please make chain three. One, two, three. After making chain three between in the center chain two space of these one, two, three, four double crochet, please make a single crochet on the top of the space. So now we did one, two, three, four petals. Okay, so now from now let's repeat it. Please think like that. Please use latter two double crochet and next please use the first two double crochet and top of these four double crochet please make single crochet with chain three for right and left. So that is very simple. Okay, so let's start. And so let's start with chain three. One, two, three, four, five. Start with the third double crochet here. 
So it's kind of diagonal of double crochet and <coughs> and clusters. Excuse me. <coughs> One and into the same stitch. Two and the last one. And three. And the end of a pull through all. So one and next one. One two three and skip these stitches and into the next double crochet one two And three. Okay. Pull through. And one more time. Next double crochet. One. Two sleep, then pull through all four loops. Oops. So when you fail to do that, do not be consent late and relax. It's not big issue. Okay, so yarn over, pull through all, and then chain three, one, two, three, and into the top of the double crochet space. Please make a single crochet. So look at. Okay, so please repeat to the end and see you at the end of this row. Okay, so please relax and enjoy. Okay, after finishing the four petals, please make chain three and single crochet into the third chain that is the next of the stitch. So this is the last stitch and the next stitch. Okay, this is low sleeve and shape is like this. Move on to low fold. And low fold is also very simple. Okay, 
So please make chain one and turn your work. Please make a single crochet into the single crochet that we made in the last row. After making single crochet, please make chain three. And there are one, two, three, four petals here. And make a single crochet into the first petal. So please find the stitch. This is the chain three. And this is the first petal and the stitch is just next of the petal this tiny space after making a, chain, a single crochet please make chain three Then please make another single crochet into the last petal. So skip two petals. One, two, in the next stitch. So this is the stitch. Okay, repeat gently, single crochet into the single crochet, gently, single crochet into the first petal, so one, two, three, four this one chain three and single crochet into the last petal so skip two one two and this one and chain three repeat gently skip two gently single So now line is straight and the last please make three single crochet three chains and a single crochet into the single crochet here the last stitch so this is the low one two three four okay oh well, let's move to row five chain one and turn your work single crochet into the first single crochet after making single crochet please make chain one 
and move to the chain slit space over the four petals here. This space. So there are one, two, three, four petals. Please make a three double crochet cluster and then chain two and repeat four times. So three double crochet together. one and chain two and please move these clusters toward to the light to make more space and the second one first second Third, four loops together and chain two in the third cluster. and pull through all and chain two and the last one so move into the same space One, two, three. And chain one and single crochet over the single crochet so this one so look at there are one two three four five six seven eight petals Okay, one more time, repeat together and please repeat to the end, chain one and skip the first chain slit space and into the next space. And chain two and chain two one. 
One more time. Slim. And pull through and chain one. And single crochet over the single crochet. Repeat it. Okay, after finishing the last petals, please make chain one and single crochet into the single crochet at the last stitch. So this is the shape and almost done. Okay, so move on to next row. Okay, next, please make chain three count as a double crochet and turn your work in the other row. One, two, three, four stitches on petal. So let's make stitches. Please make double crochet into the first petal. So this one. After making double crochet, please make next double crochet onto the next petal. So this one. All right. After that, please make chain three. One, two, three. And please make a single crochet between these four petals here. Okay, so this is the first half, first half, and then let's make pattern. So start with three chains. And please make four double crochet into the third, fourth, and first and second petals. So we need to use two flowers. So one, the first one into the third one, and second one is into the fourth one here. And skip this single crochet and move it to the next double crochet cluster. This. So this is one, two, three, and one more, thing, one more double crochet. So this one. One, two, three, four. Okay, then chain three.
after making a chain slit between clusters so I mean the petals so in the middle please make a single crochet so please repeat this chain slit double crochet double crochet and skip single crochet into the next stitch in the petal the third one and next one is this one the first one then after making four double crochet chain three and single crochet in between this chain to space okay so please repeat this to the end okay so to the end to the end so let's do it just finish together gently first double crochet second double crochet and double crochet into the single crochet okay almost finished then move to the next row I mean the row 7 So row 7 is uh, the same as row 1. So chain 1 and turn your work and into the first double crochet make a single crochet and chain 1 and single crochet into the last double crochet so I mean this this one so before chain three then chain three and single crochet single crochet into the single crochet here Then chain three and single crochet into the first double crochet and chain three and skip these two double crochet into the last double crochet. single crochet and chain three and single crochet into the single crochet so repeat like this 
gently into the first double crochet gently into the last double crochet I mean the skip these two double crochet and chain three and into the double crochet a single crochet make a single crochet okay so lift it like this to the end in the last chain slee into the single crochet and chain slee so the last is into the last double cro first double crochet and chain one and into the next stitch please make a single crochet so this is a double crochet and the next stitch okay okay so this is the shape so if you make longer please repeat this shape to and repeat and I would like to make a bookmark so I'm going to uh, add some finishing touch okay so chain one and into the last stitch so, so this single crochet I mean I would like to make two single crochet first excuse me so first single crochet and second single crochet then this is double crochet so please make three single crochet into the stitch to the two single crochet in the post And next is a single crochet so let's make single crochet and next is also single crochet so let's make single crochet and next is also single crochet <laughs> so let's make a single crochet so three single crochet again and next is double crochet so please make three single crochet and one is in the stitch and two in the post So after three single crochet, please make three single crochet in the stitch. One, two, three. After making three single crochet, please make another single crochet. Uh -oh. Okay. 
then into the single crochet make a single crochet so this one can you see that it's a very tiny stitches okay then here chain slip space so let's make slip single crochet one two slip then i'm going to lap the yarn end And single crochet into the single crochet and slip single crochet into chain slip space so repeat it one two slip and in the single crochet make a single crochet And chain slip space make slip single crochet one two slip and single crochet into the single crochet okay repeat okay the last so single crochet into single crochet and here is chain one space so make one single crochet and the next stitch is going to be a corner so please make a slit double crochet And then please make three stitches, three single crochet, so two in the post and one in the stitch. So I have to make here one. So three, three single crochet in the post and the first one, first single crochet and second single crochet and the third single crochet okay and please make one single crochet in a stitch and two single crochet in the post and the corner is here so I'm going to make the third single crochet is in here and in the stitch make three single crochet okay so one two and three okay and here is a chain one space so make one single crochet and this is a single crochet so make single crochet and after that there is a chain slit space so make slit single crochet one two slit and the next stitch is single crochet and please repeat three single crochet in a space and one single crochet three and one three and one three and one to the end okay so see you later
Okay, this is the last single crochet and here is a chain one space and I skipped the first single crochet of the corner so I'm going to make one single crochet and join into the first stitch I would like to join with seamlessly Clip the yarn end and fasten off and pull it through and into the second chain pull through overlapping and back to the last stitch oh excuse me please pick the under horizontal bow So join seamlessly and after that please please pick a few stitches each Okay, just enough. Then I'm going to attach the uh, chain and tassels here. And this is my another idea to make a bookmark like a circle shape it is still very pretty isn't it so please leave the yarn and appropriate links and please make chains So pull approximately 12 centimeters long and fasten off the yarn with a plate yarn end. Then fold in a half. This is the long side and this is the light side. So check.
like this. And this is the PVC glue, a PVA glue with water, half and half. I can use it as a starch. So, this is the long side. From the long side, split. And to the light side. Very wet now. So wipe off the excess of the water glue. Okay. Then fold the wax paper in the half. And now the iron is mid heat. So if you want to shape it, this is water solvent, so wash it. And form it. So if you use the uh, pin, it's much better to shape it. Okay, let me try. So pin like this and then let it dry it works well this is blocking so while i'm drying let's make a tassels so i want to make it two And make two slings. So leave a little bit tail and then push into slew it. Pull it tight and make a knot. Okay, one more time. Then move it to the end, <laughs> to the end again. So let's fasten off the end, the opposite side. You can needle and slit. Push into. In it.
then tied. Tied enough. Then lap a few times from outer. and to the opposite side and finish inside okay and release so this is the light side and this is a tassel and tassel is not uh, trimmed off yet so please trim nice and neat and this side as well so comb it first Make it straight. Hold like this and then trim off. No lie. So finished. So this is still wet. So I will let it dry first. Okay, now finished. It's touched and with tassels. So I would like to show you how to use it. So use like this. Just press it and close. And so you can identify which page you want to mark it so you can go back very easily so please use like this all right so thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye